Alert Weather with meteorologist Ted Schmidt. Ted and our KTDC Ireland travelers got back to Rochester around 8 o'clock last night, and you just couldn't wait to get back here and tell us all about the weather. Uh, it's only, you know, why not? You know, we talk about the weather and, and share the stories with uh, you and all of our viewers. We had such an amazing time, Jess. So many things we did and, and did a lot. And just, uh, uh, just what, nine days time, we did so many things and had just uh, an amazing amount of fun and uh, saw some amazing history and saw some amazing uh, natural beauty in Ireland. It's a great place. Great people, too. Uh, weather today, uh, you know, not all that unusual for spring for us. Kind of weather like this uh, we had in Ireland at times. Some gusty winds, a little bit of rain, a little sun, and you clouds as well, but that's what's going on right now as you look outside with some of our Lewiston Auto cameras. We're facing today very sparse rain showers. Some of those have been developing along and uh, even behind a cold front that's been approaching from the northwest. That front is sagging southward. Here come these sparse showers. This will be hit or miss, very light activity, but wind driven sprinkles because you have gusty winds. Here's that front pushing southward. We'll have winds from the west and northwest today at times 30 miles per hour. Makes it feel a little bit cooler. Temperatures though, themselves approaching 60. In most cases, Rochester 59, it's 60 in Osage, Mesa City 61, and 54 in Owatonna. Here in the Med City, it feels kind of cool with those winds, 59, but the wind's 23, gusting to 36 miles per hour right now. It's typical of April, to say the least. Uh, temperatures in the 50s and 60s south of the storm system. See what the extra cloud cover is right now. That's keeping things a little cooler, but behind this front, only 40s of a Bemidji. That's the cooler. That's sagging southward. Temperatures tonight will dip into the 20s, and tomorrow we will not be as warm as 60 in most cases. So look for some showers, uh, a few sparse showers today. Better chance of rain Friday and for parts of the weekend. Temperatures very seasonable, though. In other words, 50s and 60s. That's very typical for the middle and latter portion of April. Very sparse showers. You see gaps of, of sunshine at times as well. With that cool northwest breeze around 20 to 30 miles per hour, the winds diminish after sunset. Rain kind of tapers off those sparse rain chances done by around 730 or 8. And then clear skies tonight. Temperatures in the 20s. A sun-filled Wednesday, a few thin clouds coming in from the west on Thursday, a little more of a southeasterly breeze, but still a very mild day before a storm system on Friday brings some wind and some rain and uh, some unsettled weather for a big part of the weekend. Rain chances today, very much at low end of the scale until about 7, maybe 8 o'clock for sparse sprinkles or, or spotty showers, and the winds remain gusty until about 7 or 8, slowly then dropping off, but it's going to be a breezy afternoon and evening, feeling cooler with those wind gusts. And shower chances really ramp up this week. Weekend. Mostly on Friday, a little bit of that on Sunday, some th thunder at times, and the severe weather threat is there as well, mainly just south of us, but something that bears watching on Friday with the chance of hail and some strong wind gusts. And rainfall may reach an inch or two between uh, now and Sunday night with some of these waves of energy that generate those rain showers. Today, look for stray showers, otherwise some sun and some clouds, a windy, cool day, 60. Temperatures basically steady in that range. Uh, tonight, diminishing winds, mainly clear, 29 overnight. A lot of sunshine tomorrow, 56 for high temperature, but lighter winds. In a seven-day forecast, we have a windy weekend with uh, periods of rain and some thunder. Temperatures in the 50s and 60s and more of that type of weather through next week as well. Very typical temperatures for April. And you've got those April showers that we always talk about to go with the wind. Yes, things are going to be so green and beautiful in the month of May. <laughs> The Emerald Isle itself, Jess. Yes. <laughs> All green. <laughs> it's so lush and beautiful there, isn't it? it? Yeah, it is. We're glad that you had a great time and good to have you back, Ted.